Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button so YouTube will share it. Okay, so today I'm going to be putting the binding on this quilt. I really like to long arm it. It makes it easier for me. And I will be using a machine, sewing machine, to sew the rest of it on. But we have to get the front part on first. Now, originally, this pattern called for a one and a quarter inch binding. Now, that's great if I was doing a quilt that wasn't going to be used a lot. Um, this is only, you know, the single fold going over the edges. I didn't want to do that. I know this quilt's going to be washed. I know this quilt is going to be used. So I wanted to make sure that it has a lot more stability. So what I did was, if you notice, I cut off the ends on the sides and made that into binding. So this is going to be a two and a half inch binding that I am going to put on the quilt. Now, I've separated it in two rolls. And when you put it on, I usually center mine here, make sure that the fold is towards the inside of the quilt. You don't want to put the fold on the outside like this. You're going to have to take it apart. So you want the fold on the inside. And then what I'm going to do is I will lay it out just like this. And I will leave a little bit extra for the ends because I'm going to have to unroll my quilt as I'm putting it on. We'll put just a little bit more there. And then we're gonna put it up the side here. And I will show you what I do when I get to the corner so you can see how I fold it over. But I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it on the edge. And then we're gonna sew. I'm using my foot as a guide, okay? We'll go ahead and we will sew it on there until we get to the end, okay? So like I said before, I'm using my foot as a guide and I've already tied off and come down a little bit. So I'm gonna continue to come down the side. And when I get to the edge right here, I'm going to leave a quarter, probably a quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to come off the side of the quilt, just like that, okay? And at this point is when I'm going to fold my binding over. So as you can see here, I've come off the edge of it about a quarter, maybe a little bit less of an inch. Then I'm gonna take the binding, fold it up and over like this. And I'm lining it up with the binding. I'm not lining it up with the edge right here because this is gonna be trimmed off. So I'm going to fold this up here so that the binding continues, we continue the binding on, just like that. And then I can go ahead and bring it on over. Okay, so I had a little technical difficulty by not turning the camera on when I was stitching out the bottom right here, but that's okay. You got the gist of folding over the edge so that when you fold it over now, when I go ahead with the other machine and sew it, it's gonna be just fine, okay? Now I did the same thing to the other end and I went up the side over there. So now what I have to do 
is roll the quilt this way so that I can continue up the sides. Now, one thing you have to remember is your machine is only going to come down so far, okay? So I know my machine will come down to here with this much here, but I've got to make sure that I can get it down to where the corner is. It's not going to be too bad on the sides. You just want to make sure that you connect that line, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go under here. So I can roll it and I know where I can start at. And we're just going to go backwards. And my machine is going to move at the same time. My needle is not down. It is up. So I'm going to come to a right about here and lock it. And then I can go ahead and continue on up. So I'm going to continue to put this on and I've done it perfect. So I'm still catching the stitches from down here. I'm going to continue on this side. Once I'm done with this side, I will bring the machine over here to do this side and I will continue all the way up onto the top. is on I have left about a 12 inch space so that I can go ahead and close it up and I will do that on the sewing machine so I'm going to go ahead and take this off the roller I'm going to trim it all up and then sew the binding on the other side and all I will do is I will fold it over all the way and then stitch in the ditch along the edge and then we'll bring it back to show you what it looks like all right, this quilt is finished. I have the binding on and I've got my label on and this label is not coming off. So take a look at that video on how to put the label on your quilt with the long arm. And I have my two helpers here with me today and we will let you see them. Okay, you guys can Let's see if I can get your faces in. There they are. We have Christopher, my son, and his beautiful wife, Mandy. <laughs> and we also have their dog, who is checking things out in my quilt room. There you go. So this quilt was done doing all Panavision. And that's pretty much it for this vlog. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you could, please subscribe and hit that like button so YouTube will refer it. And I hope you have a great day stitching.